So this week in class, I talked a lot about data sets um, and how to produce them. Um, and I promised alongside that that I would do a, qu a couple quick demos on how to use some popular photo services to scrape photos from. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to scrape images from Flickr. Um, if you are much, much younger than me, um, you might not have ever used Flickr. Uh, Flickr was a really popular photo service um, for, for a while, like pre-Instagram days. Um, it's something that's still a decent amount of people use today, um, but there's a lot of archival photos uh, that were like are still sort of housed in Flickr. So we can um, scrape a lot of images from Flickr. And there is a pretty good service that I'll show you today, which is from Anti Boredom. It is called Flickr Scrape. Um, and I'll just walk you through a couple steps on how to use it. So the first thing we have to do is in install it. Um, there are installation instructions down here. So we're gonna clone the repo. I'm gonna skip the virtual environment part. If you know how to use those and have done it before, please feel free to use it. And then we're gonna install the dependencies. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this URL. I'm gonna go back to the terminal. Now in terminal, um, I usually have a folder that I, that I stick all my GitHub repos in and that's just called repos. So I'm just gonna go there. And I'm gonna type in git clone and then I'm gonna paste that URL and that should install Flickr scrape. Cool, so now I've got that. So I'm gonna CD into that folder. And the next thing it said that I needed to do was I needed to install all of my requirements. And you do that by using this command. It's pretty likely that I already have all of the tools I need in this because I've previously installed this library, but let's see. Yep, looks like I already have a bunch of these. Um, so we're ready to go here. So usually if you come across a scraping library, there's some form of like usage instructions and sure enough in this one there's usage here uh, so it says the first thing I need to do is get an API key from Flickr um, and then make a file called credentials uh, which has the following text in it and th this is the text I have um, and then it sort of shows me how to scrape stuff so let's look at getting an API key first um, so if you've never done API keys finding where they are in Flickr might sometimes or like in any site is sometimes a little tricky so let's just dig around and try and find it um, my guess is that it's going to be in some form of settings. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to settings. The top here, privacy permissions, email notifications, sharing and extending. Probably this because it is like APIs are extending. So let's try this. And I might have cheated and already looked up where this is. So I didn't have to like bum around a bunch. Um, your API keys. So you have two API keys registered to this account. So let's click on this. Um, and sure enough, here are two API keys. Um, I can get another key. Uh, let me just walk quickly walk you through this process. So you will need a Flickr account in order to do this work. Um, I think Flickr is still free, or like there's a free version of it. You might have to pay for it actually entirely now. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, get another key. Um, I recommend choosing non-commercial just because we are demoing non-commercial work. You'll need to add some instructions. What's the name of your app? So I'm just gonna use my name. What are you building? A scraper. Um, okay, I acknowledge a bunch of write stuff and I hit submit. And sure enough, I have keys here now. Um, now I'm going to delete these keys immediately as soon as I'm done demoing this video, uh, because showing this on screen is not great. Um, but I already have the keys for another account. So I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, move that into my folder. So I'll be back in one second, uh, after doing that. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've deleted that previous app so no one can hack my credentials and do weird stuff with my account. Um, what I did is I created a credentials.json file uh, and put in some of my other secret keys into it. Um, if you have questions about that process, message me on Slack and I can sort of walk you through it. Uh, but this is, I should have everything I need for this folder, right? So I've got Flickr scrape, I've got my credentials, and then uh, it looks like I have scraper.py, which should get me started. So I'm going to go back to um, this account, or sorry, the GitHub account, and I'm going to read through this. So to scrape for a particular search term, you use Python scraper dash dash search, and then your search term. Um, so I uh, asked Twitter what I should uh, search for. Jen Schiffer told me I should search for geese. Um, and when Jen Schiffer tells you to do something, you just do it. So uh, what I recommended before actually running this is to like go on Flickr and actually look and see what your results might be. Um, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go to Flickr's homepage. 
and then I'm going to type in geese. So it looks like Flickr has 844,000 pictures of geese. So I feel like I'm going to be pretty good here. Um, and I like these images look pretty cool, actually. I would maybe wonder what this would look like to actually train on. Um, but anyway, this is just a, a scraping demo, so I'm going to do this really quickly. So uh, now that I know like there's a good enough res good results here, um, I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to look around and make sure that like everything that I might want is included here. So scraper search terms. So this seems like the pretty much the basic term I would use. Um, to scrape for a particular group. I'm not really going to scrape groups. So I'm going to ignore that. Um, latitude and longitude coordinates. I don't need that, but this is like, maybe you want to scrape images that are in a particular location. Large sized 1024 pixel width will be downloaded by default. You can download the original images by passing the flag dash dash original. So this I'm actually going to use because this is really, really helpful. Um, because I want the highest resolution possible so that then I can work within my data sets tool library to start to edit stuff. So I will definitely be using this. Uh, limit the number of pages of results downloading, downloaded by passing max pages n, where n is a page of 500 results each. Specify the start page with start page n. Um, so 500 results each. So let's say I wanted to get, let's say I want to get 5,000 images. So that means I'm gonna need max pages of 10. So let's start to build this query up. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to come back to my terminal. I'm going to paste this in. I'm going to say I want to search geese and I want, what was it? Original? Dash dash original. So dash dash original. That gets me the highest resolution of photos and then I want max pages and I want 10. So 10. Um, so I think I'm set to go here. Let's just hit return and see what happens. Searching for geese, name, start page is not defined. So it sounds like I do need to um, hit start page. So let's try this again. So when I press up, it's gonna, when I press the up key command, it's gonna like basically put me back to the last uh, command I ran. So now let's try start page. Um, I'm gonna assume this is zero index. So I'm just gonna start with page zero and let's hit enter again and see what happens. Cool, so not getting any back air, any errors. Seems like I'm doing better this time. Um, and now it's downloading metadata, page zero of 10. Let's see how that goes. One of 10, cool, so it looks like it's working. So let's just see, is this showing up anywhere yet? Uh, images, geese, okay, cool. So I'm starting to get images. Maybe I'm not, maybe it needs to download all the metadata before it actually starts pulling down the images. So um, I'm going to give this a minute. I might uh, stop the recording and come back, and we'll see how this goes. Hey, so I'm back. So uh, all these metadata pages finished. Um, and sure enough, as soon as it finished downloading all the metadata, it went ahead and started downloading the images. So you'll see I'm here at um, like 50 images out of 5,500. So it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, but I am downloading images. So while those download, let me just double check and see that they are downloading. Yep, so I'm getting them. Um, and I'm starting to see some information about them. And what's pretty interesting is that, well, that has no geese in it. So that's a problem. Um, that has geese in it, although maybe not the best image. Um, that is neon geese. Um, those are more geese, more geese, more geese. Uh, I guess those are geese. I don't know the difference between geese and ducks and swans. So I guess I know what a, a swan is bigger, right? Um, here are our neon geese again. So like this is what happens when you, down, when you scrape Flickr, right? You're going to get some images that are pretty good and then other ones that are not. Like that is, I don't think that's a geese, right? Or a goose, right? Like I think that's something else. Um, these are flying geese versus that's a close-up goose. Um, so pretty clear that like I'm going to have a lot of work to do with this, which is why I grabbed 5,500. Because let's say I want to do style again and I want to get it down to uh, 1,000 images, like at minimum 1,000 images. Um, it looks like there's going to be a lot of cleanup work to do here. Um, so as you have seen in a previous demo, I've sort of walked through like how to actually do this work. Um, 
I might actually try to like narrow my search results down. So maybe one thing I would do is like, uh, I know Canadian geese are a thing, so I might try to search just for Canadian geese and see if that eliminates some of my search results. Uh, the next thing is like, I have to just sort of decide what I want to do. Do I want geese of like this scale or do I want to do a bunch of flying geese that are all in different shapes and patterns, right? So something like this could work then. Um, but what I think is helpful here is like I'm using Flickr to sort of see what I have available to me. And then as I'm making, like I can start to make decisions based on what I see in my search results. Um, and that's going to be much easier to do than sort of the reverse, which is like I have an idea and I'm just going to go find images that match it. Um, that's going to take you a lot longer to do. Uh, so I would generally recommend like just try scraping stuff and see what happens. Another thing I'm noticing is that dimensions for these are a little... Like they're all over the place, right? So this one's 1175 by 881. So again, for style GANs, high resolution, you need 1024 by 1024. So I am gonna need to do some sorting and throwing away of images that won't work for me. So uh, there's gonna be a lot of work to do here, um, but it's kind of an interesting data set and I would be interested to sort of see, how, see what it produces. Um, but this sort, of ex this sort of shows the basics of Flickr um, and the Flickr scrape uh, tool. So this is enough for now. Um, I recommend that you feel free to like play around with it. Um, and if you have questions about how to do something specific, like we can look at it. Um, but this is it for now. Let me know if you have any questions in class uh, in our Slack channel. Thanks.